Europe is starting to turn the corner on its second surge of coronavirus. That's not the case right now in the U.S. So why are we different? Let's connect the dots. About a month ago, the situation in the U.S. and Europe looked pretty similar, if not grim. The dreaded resurgence of the coronavirus, experts had warned, was arriving on both sides of the Atlantic. Positivity and death rates shot up in Europe as cases rose in the United States. But now, most benchmarks are improving across the pond. The same cannot be said over here. When cases started to take off in Europe this fall, many leaders warned residents if they wanted to celebrate winter holidays, they had to take precautions now. Many countries locked down, instituting strict restrictions on travel, closing bars and restaurants, and issuing social distancing mandates. Now it looks like all those sacrifices worked. Across Europe, the seven-day average of newly confirmed coronavirus cases is dropping dramatically. France has cut its new cases in more than half. Belgium, which had one of the worst infection rates in Europe, now has one of the best. And Italy is easing off restrictions as cases fall. As one Italian leader put it, this wasn't a matter of good luck, but rather proof that restrictions worked.